Buju, Kinemage Nene Ireland and Dishnikas, and welcome to this production of Support Coach Television. Today's episode, Edith Markham, My Century, Second Read Answers. As is always the case, if you have not answered the questions that are provided on worksheet 274 or completed the Google form, which is the best place to record your answers during the current pandemic, you should exit out of this video and do that prior to viewing this video. This video is intended to give you feedback on the assignment so that you don't have to wait for the next class period to see how you did. All of these questions are discussed during our live in-person sessions and I encourage you to participate there or you won't have these assignments to do later. When answering these questions, I will provide the textbook to answer as provided by the curriculum. In some cases, I may elaborate and give explanation or details. In other cases, I will provide them without comment. If you have questions or want to check further into what you had, feel free to reach out to me via email or during office hours. These are the green box questions. And the first one on page 126 is the point of view of the selection first person or third person, how do you know? And the answer is that it is first person because she uses pronouns I and my to tell about events that happened to her. Third person would be she and her and they or them. Now on to page 128. How might the details of Markham's post-war years and the 1905 March be told differently from the third person point of view? The answer provided, it would be more formal and less personal as many bibliography or biographies are. It wouldn't sound so exasperated when talking about the post-war years or worried when talking about the March. When authors tell a story of about someone else, quite often we fail to provide a true grasp of the emotions that were present at the scene. Whereas in the first person, you do get to feel the fear or excitement or happiness or sadness, depending on the context of the story. Now on page 130, what are some personal details in paragraphs nine and 10 that only Markham could tell by using a first person point of view? Answer provided, her reference to her beloved husband and her memory of stopping the men from being violent in 1905 and how it inspired her to keep going. Those kind of events usually are present in a first person memoir and not frequently in a biography. Biographies tend to cover the big picture where memoirs can get down into the smaller details. As we reach the conclusion of this video, uh, hopefully you found your answers to be comparable. If you have questions, please do feel free to reach out. We hope to see you in class for the in-class discussion with your peers. And have a minute, Gijigad, Minwa, Bamopi.